Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Moz. In this video, we will see how how to read Vernier Caper properly. Mm. There are different types of Vernier Calipers. The, mm, the digital one, the standard Vernier Caper, the DL one, the DL Vernier Caper. These calipers work different job, but the same way. In the same way, in this tutorial we will see metric money caliper designed to measure to the nearest scale. One fifty, that is point zero zero two millimeter. This is a closed. Verney Calper This is this is not where when the caper when the camper closed you can see who's supposed to read the measurement and there are two types of scale in the vernier caliper the mean scale and the vernier scales first let's see the main scale you see zero mark here in the place where you're supposed to read the main scale the main scale let's take an example to read what the main scale says here it is the main reading the main scale reading you see zero mark here so the main scale reading will be one two three four by five, five millimeter millimeters just be sure zero mark here if you take a measurement here you'll get a, a wrong reading let's uh, let's say the mark is between two points like he like you see here this point the mark is here so how can you read this this reading uh, the point one two three four five this point is six this mark is between point five and point six five millimeter and six millimeter where this is a real situation Vernier scale will, will tell us exactly how uh, the mark is Vernier scales these are the Vernier scales mm. each of these number present, represents tens of millimeters Now let us see which line up, which of the mark line up with the major scale. Let me give you a hint. This is, let me give you a hint. The one is the other mark line up. line up you see little little more halfway with your marks that means the one scale will line up little passes halfway the one scale 
Oh, c'est ici. So the valley scale will be here. Here. Let me create it for you. The Barney scale will be seven. So the Barney scale even uh, better than this. So the Barney scale reading will ex give you exactly uh, the better result here. So the point is five. Point seven is the scale of the point two, so this will be two. That means seven to five. The reading will be five point seven two millimeter. So the main scale reading. This is the main, the main scale reading. This is the vernier scale reading. Now let me give you some example. Pause the video and try it by yourself. Here is example one. Take a time and practice. Practice it. So mm, the main scale is here. That means 15, 16, 16. And so mm, the pose the mark is around 16 so the reading the vernier reading is 2 that means the reading will be 16.2 millimeters and let's see another example before that uh, let me clear it the previous example this is the main reading that is 16 the <coughs> Barney scale is 2 exactly 2 mm. now let me give you another example try it try to read it perfectly mm. now the main scale is 90 Mm, it's close to points ninety. So the burning scale. I mean, the many, the burning scale will be around here. So this is you can't take precise reading here. So mm, this is lined up perfectly. So the reading will be 90.16 millimeter. I think you got it. Uh, let us example three. Mm, this is another example. First, try to read the main scale. Uh, the reading the main scale. 11, 12. So a little, it passes a little bit in the mark, uh, half a between the markers. So the the vernier scale will be half of the little half halfway between the half vernier scale. Mm -hmm. So here it is the exact reading so <coughs> 12 the vernier scale 7 and 
7, 2, 7, 4, 7, 6. This will be the proper reading of these examples. So the reading will be 12.76 mm. Thank you for watching. I think you have got a proper knowledge about how to read a vernier kuiper properly. Mm, vernier kuiper is pretty hard to read, but with a little practice, you can read perfectly. It was more. Thank you for watching. Don't don't forget to subscribe for mechanical engineering tutorial.